Got it. Finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Welcome back, everybody. With me today is uh, my friend John, is who, as you'll hear in just a second, is not from America, and uh, he's never shot a gun. So we got a few out here. We're gonna work them up slowly with uh, some some really low recoiling ones. I went over. We did a safety class last night, just kind of going over the basics. And uh, what do you expect today? I'm not sure. Just to have some fun. I'm a little bit nervous actually because in Australia guns are, are completely outlawed. So right. this is very new to me to be so close to guns. Right. And we were very close last night. We even showed him some night vision and stuff. Kind of blew his mind a little bit. So anyway, uh, this is a Smith & Wesson MMP 22. We went over uh, how it worked earlier, but it's going to be loaded when I hand it to you. And that is your safety. Okay. We'll let you take your first shots ever with a real gun. Okay. So look through the sight first, get your, yep, get it on target. Now you're gonna put safety on fire. Yep, whenever you're ready. Safety on. All right. Wow. So what'd you think? That was awesome. It was awesome. Right? Yeah, wow. Look at that. He even kept his finger off the trigger. <laughs> we went over that in detail last night. I've been trained well. <laughs> so, so uh, all right. It was awesome. We're going to grab a 22 pistol and just kind of move through some different guns and try to capture John's reaction as we go along. Up next, we got the uh, Ruger 2245, and uh, we'll let John give this one a go, and uh, it is on fire. Okay. All right, so we're going to get our good high grip. Yep, make our L with our hand. Come in like that. Yep. Come just like that. Perfect. Whenever you're ready, line the sights up. And give it a go. All right. Well, that's interesting. Hold on one second. Yep. All right. Try it again. Yeah, 22s tend to be not so reliable. Okay. What do you think? That's awesome. That's different. <laughs> oh, you can shoot more if you want. Okay. By all means. So this could be good. No, it should be. The trigger okay. should work each time. No, I guess not. I don't know why it's not feeding. That okay. shouldn't be the case. Are you just going to pull that back? Yeah. But oh, right. That shouldn't be happening. It's just the gun's malfunctioning. Okay. But. And it's warm, but it's not too hot. Yep. Okay. That could be. Okay. You can come in here. Just kind of, there you go. Okay. Perfect. Wow. All right. Yeah. We're going to move up. <laughs> no. We're stepping up to a real AR-15. This one here is a build, uh, arrow precision, upper and lower. And then the rest are all BCM parts with a Trichicon MRO. So we went over optics last night. Basically, you're going to see a dot. Just put the dot where you want it to go. Cool? Okay, cool. All right. let's, let's do this. Wow. All right. High up on the grip like we talked about. Yep. Okay. You see the dot? Yeah. Okay. So you're just going to put it on the target. And whenever you're ready, you got to take it off uh, safe. Yeah. And then whenever you're ready. Matt, you missed. It's all right. It's not. Got it. Wow. Uh, one more? Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Got it again. All right, put it on safe. Finger off the trigger. There you go. Cool. So what'd you think? That was awesome. It's got a lot more kick than a 22. It does, but it's still not bad though. Yeah, it's not. No, it doesn't. Right. It's very easy to use. Cool. Okay. Moving on. I debated which pistol we were going to introduce them to with uh, center fire, but this one here is a CZ75 clone from Sarslamaz. Uh, so it's an all steel pistol, 9mm, has that low war access, very low recoiling gun. So for your first pistol, it should be relatively easy to shoot well. Okay. So go ahead and establish that grip. Good high grip with your right hand. Yep. We're gonna keep thumb up like that. Perfect, make your L, come in, 
There you go. All right, and then I'll take it off safe because this one does have an external safety. Okay. And whenever you're ready, you can go on the close targets here and slow, smooth, press that trigger to the rear. Got it. Wow. Finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Mm -hmm. You can keep firing, but whenever you come off the target, just take your finger off. Wow, it's got a yeah, it's got a bit of a recoil, but not much. No, not too okay. bad. What do you think? <laughs> it's wild. All right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Your heart rate up a little bit? Yeah, totally. Cool. Well, you can see though, I mean, obviously you've never yeah. shot before. We're yeah, about no. 15 meters away and he's yeah. hitting the steel. So yeah. for someone who's never shot, it works. So last night we were going over things. He was talking about the silencers and how he thought, you know, they'd be Hollywood quiet. Now this is the HK-45 with subsonic uh, freedom munitions. So it's going to be quiet. But you'll see it's not exactly Hollywood quiet here. So if you want, actually, probably shoot it in the dirt just down there anywhere. So okay. we can get an idea of what it sounds like. And uh, you're going to get good high grip, like always. You're going to make an L with your hand. Nope, open the fingers up. Come in like that. There you go. And uh, whenever you're ready, it will fire. So you still heard it, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> But if, Go ahead. if you had hogs down here, then yep, that's that's safe. Yeah. Okay, uh, the hogs wouldn't hear it. The hogs wouldn't run away because they wouldn't know they were getting shot. Sure. So what I was telling him earlier is that um, when I come out here, uh, the gentleman who owns this land uh, asked me to shoot the hogs. I've mentioned that before here on the channel whenever I see them. And uh, if I don't have a suppressor with me, I can you know I can only get one. And uh, if I have a suppressor with me, I can always get two or three before the the little herd of, of, of hogs starts, takes off and runs. So to answer your question, yeah. Um, basically, because we're here, basically down there on that corner, which you guys can't see on camera, is about 300 yards away. Um, you know, I can shoot them down there and they won't, won't really react to it. Okay. With wow. the suppressor. But you can try a few on steel if you'd like. Okay, sure. So he's getting spoiled here. This is the HK-45, so this is a really nice gun. I'm come in like that whenever you're ready. All right, you missed a little left. There you go. Right. Dog diggy damn! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Next up, we got a wheel gun. This is Smith & Wesson 686 Plus with a five inch barrel, all steel. Should be relatively mild recoiling. Um, he asked me last night if this was the gun that Dirty Harry had, and uh, I said no. But I actually have that gun. We left it at home today because uh, the recoil on that one's kind of punishing. It's hard for me, never mind a new shooter. So, all right, okay. give this one a shot. Again, we still want to have a nice high grip here on the back. Yep, and then we want to keep our fingers away from the front like we talked about. So you're just going to take your grip and kind of wrap your thumbs. Perfect, just like that. So yep, whenever you're ready, it's, it's slow, smooth, press the trigger to the rear, but it's going to be longer than before like we talked about last night. All right, so stop real quick, finger off the trigger. So what you did is you jerked the trigger real hard. Oh, okay. Slow, smooth press all the way to the rear and just pretend like it's not going to recoil. I know it's hard to do, Okay. but that's what we want to do. Just keep the sights on, on target. It's hard, right? <laughs> it is. It's fun though. Slow, smooth press. Slow, smooth. Perfect. See how you hit the steel that time? Yeah. But it's harder than it looks like on it's, TV, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So everybody wow. on TV hits every time. Yeah. And everybody's moving. <laughs> We're standing here 15 yards from a target. Wow. You got to really focus on it with that double action trigger. And the adrenaline as well. Absolutely. And nobody's shooting at us. Wow. I'm, so. I'm sweating. Yeah. <laughs> You're both welcome to take a few more if you'd like. Okay. All right, try yeah. some in single action if you want to get a feel for that. The trigger's going to be real light, so you take your thumb here and just kind of move this hammer back. Yep, now bring your thumb back down. There you go. Whenever you're ready, it's going to be real light. Real light. Totally different, right? <laughs> wow. Finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Okay. Right. 
Wow. A little bit easier, huh? Yeah, yeah it's some power right there. Yeah, so this is, it, and he is shooting a 357 Magnum. Okay. I actually brought some 38. Well, I thought I did rather, but I didn't. They're not here. Um, so he was shooting the full half stuff there, so he's getting the full recoil, but of course it's an all steel gun, so it's not too bad. What do you think of the revolver? Yeah, awesome. It's uh, interesting. It's a completely different experience from the double tr trigger yep. and then the easy to light when you pull it back. Yep. Epic. <laughs> All right, guys, so what we got here is a 300 Blackout SBR with a Dead Air Sandman K on there. Um, it's a Bravo Company upper arrow lower with a Bravo Company lower build kit for you gun geeks out there. We're spoiling him today with some really nice guns. So go ahead. This one functions the same as the last one. Okay. So whenever you're ready, just get your dot on the target and uh, off safe and pull the trigger. It should hit. You see the dot? Oh, no, it's not oh, there we go. You got it. Whenever you're ready. A little bit, a little bit to the left. Okay. Same thing, a little left. Okay. But what you got to focus on is focus on keeping that dot still while you're pulling the trigger. At the same time. A little left again. A little low. Right. <laughs> Bring it up a touch. You're dancing around it. <laughs> Got it. Whatever you did, do that again. Got it. Get it. All right, safety on. So one thing we were discussing off camera uh, was a point I was making to him last night because this right here actually is uh, my home defense rifle and it was sitting next to us uh, when we were having our conversation last night when he came over. And uh, he made a couple points like, number one, is that a silencer? <clears throat> and I said, yes. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a little bit of a cough. <clears throat> but I was making the point that um, rifles are just much easier to shoot well at distance uh, so the target that he's shooting at there is about 60 70 yards away and uh, I had him try it with the pistol and he saw just how far off he was everywhere out there so um, I was making the point that it's much easier to be accurate with a rifle and of course the silencer as well gives you the ability to communicate afterwards uh, obviously it's not quiet like you thought yeah so it's still loud but it's not gonna really damage your hearing so that way if you need to communicate after uh, defending yourself you have the capability to do so much better anyway so um but yeah what do you think that was awesome yeah it's a great uh experience easy to use right yeah right and again you know you're brand new to this but under stress it really the differences in terms of ease of use really come come out yeah. come into light on to the next one all right guys we've got a pistol caliber carbine here this is the cmmg the little mutant nine millimeter the mk9 and uh if you guys are watching this that means this has come out to the public yet. Uh, this is not released to the public yet. I was telling them we're going to have to delay the video for a little bit until that happens. But it's a 9mm carbine. And this is a brace, which I was explaining our silly gun loss to him. How it's not a stock, so there's no special paperwork for it. And uh, this one you can shoot the closer targets. Because right, it's gosh. the same ammo as your pistol. But it's going to function just like... Uh, you can hold it up here. Or there. Either way. Uh, it's going to function just like an AR-15. Thank you. So you're going to have a dot. Yep. What do you think? Yeah, uh, that's very easy to use. Right. See how much easier yeah. it is than the pistol? So much easier. Right. And yeah. you're firing the same cal same cartridge. So yeah. definitely gives you the advantage of having that ability to anchor it in your shoulder mm -hmm. and have more points of contact. So It looks mean. It does look mean. <laughs> but it's a fun little gun. Yeah. It certainly could be useful as well if you needed it. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, we got the AK. This is a Lee Armory Hungarian operator and loaded up with some Red Army Standard. And we're going to let him uh, take a few shots with it. 
Really? I'm allowed to shoot this? <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. I'm <laughs> shooting an AK-47. It's crazy, right? Really? Yeah. So oh uh, we're going to drop our safety off like we talked about last night. You're just going to push it down. Yep. Push it down. You're good. You just got to push. Yep. Perfect. And now whenever you're ready, sights are going to work just like a pistol like we talked about last night. Got it. First shot. You can lean forward if you want to okay. stabilize a little bit. You're going low. Just left. Finger off the trigger when you're not firing. Oh, there yeah. you go. Good. What do you think of the AK? Yeah, it's impressive. It's a bit of a recoil, but nothing serious. Right. Yep. Oh. So oh, yeah, welcome. it's a good yeah. gun. It is. You're more than welcome to keep shooting it, but or, okay. or we can move on. Maybe we have one more shot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just well. one more. Just low, you got that last one. Yeah. Oof. Wow, it's epic. <laughs> so, right now, John's looking for the uh, steel target down there. It's painted black, unfortunately. That's the color I had with me, so it's kind of hard to see with the background. But I gave him a quick class on using this. So, you want to pull it tight into your shoulder here? Okay. There you go. And uh, finger off the trigger until we're ready to fire. But it's going to target down range at uh, 330 yards. So it's not an easy shot, but we have a one to six scope on there. It's a primary arms with the KISS reticle. It's zero, and I told him basically put the chevron tip right on the head, and you will get hits on this target. Do you see the target? Yeah. Okay. So whenever you're ready, uh, put it on fire. And then what you really want to focus on with this one is you want to make sure that your trigger press is nice and slow and not jerky, because that little bit of jerking will throw you way off target down there at 330 yards. A nice smooth press while that, that little chevron tip is right on the head. Got it. First oh, time wow. ever. Nice. Nailed it. Wow. You take a few more. Okay. Two for two. You're on a hot streak. What do you think? That's an amazing piece of machinery. It is. And yeah. he, he was uh, saying off camera that he wasn't sure it could actually shoot out there and you get hits at that distance. As you can see, untrained shooter, with five minutes of instructions is hitting each time. So with the good with good equipment, it's totally doable. And we're just shooting uh, 55 grain freedom munitions out here, so it's nothing fancy either. Uh, we got a ballistic advantage, a Hanson series barrel, it's a very good barrel, um, and of course, decent scope like you talked about. So, and it's zero, so that always helps. But more than welcome to keep shooting if you want. Yeah. Getting tired? Gotcha. Three for three. Woo. Wow. What a machine. It's nice, huh? Yeah. All right, we're going to uh, get... So this is basically just sort of like a mil-spec-ish type of AR. We've got kind of a fancy race gun up next that you're going to see shoot and see just how much easier it is with that. Awesome. I was gonna have him shoot the CMMG 22 nozzler, but he was having a hard time just working with the optics, so we decided to scrap that. Um, for new shooters, we just wanna work with what works for them and not try to force anything on them. So what he wanted to shoot was this bad boy right here. This uh, is a Mossberg 590A1 short barrel shotgun. I was explaining last night to him um, some gun laws. Uh, to get this in America is not super easy. You have to go through, the, this took about a year to get with all the paperwork because of the short barrel. But it looks mean, right? That's what he said. Looks amazingly mean. <laughs> yes. So I, I demoed it here real quick, kind of show what it looks like. And it's loaded right now with some Freedom Editions, uh, double lot buck, because that's the majority of the shotgun I have, because Freedom's an ammo sponsor. So showed you how it works. Uh, you're going to lean into it. I'm going to walk around here to kind of walk you through it. So 
You definitely want it up high in your shoulder and tight and lean forward a little bit with your, there you go, kind of like that. And you're going to look through the sight, line it up. Whenever you're ready, that's the safety. Push it forward. And I would lean forward a little bit more. It's going to rock you a little bit. So run the action. Yep, good. Oh, you killed the target. <laughs> you, you shoot that one. Okay. Well, so you don't have to actually put it on safe every time. Oh, okay. Um, when you run the action, as long as it's pointed in a safe direction, your okay. finger's off the trigger, you're good to run that action. Okay. Decent recoil. Yep. We just got it. Yep. You got two of them on there. You got to run the action before we go. All right, out of rounds. Out of rounds. So you're flinching a little bit there. So yeah, you, you see how in that last shot when yeah. there was no bullet, how you did that? Yeah. That's why you're missing the low left. Uh-huh. Because you're doing that, you're anticipating, uh, okay, and you're yeah. moving the gun. Uh-huh, not, not poised. Right. And uh, so you guys can't see the target, but he's getting about one or two pellets on an eight inch round target at about 15 yards, um, which at this distance, he should be able to get pretty much all of them on there. Yeah. Um, that means he's, he's flinching, moving off target. So that's all right. First it's time, a scary gun. <laughs> absolutely. First time shooting a shotgun. What'd you think? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a powerful beast. Absolutely. It is. It is. It's been an experience. That's for sure. Absolutely. All right. On to the next one. So we ended it with the shotgun. We had a big bang there. I asked John if we wanted to shoot anything else. He said, no, it's, I think it's cause your nerves are just going, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. Okay. It's my first time shooting in Australia. Guns are outlawed. So to come out here with Michael, who's very mm. experienced made it yeah this made it easier for me to first time shooter and good good material good equipment. hardware Absol equipment. absolutely <laughs> so was there anything you thought coming into this that changed with you actually using the gun that pistols are very difficult to control the handguns as opposed to the same caliber in a rifle mm -hmm. was just much easier to to handle and yep. to hit the targets yep yep so I, the point I was making to him last night was because uh, he was looking at everything and he was sort of overwhelmed by all the uh, different guns and equipment. And I was saying, like, you know, ultimately, if for us as Americans, the way I view it is, of course, we want the best tools to defend our home and our family, right? So um, obviously, people these days make want to make rules about magazines or how a gun looks or whatever. And my point is, you want what's best to defend yourself. Because here in America, like, there's I've read reports that there's 30 to 40 million AR-15s, for instance, in this country. So that means bad guys have them too. So I don't want to go into a fight with somebody who has an AR-15 with a pistol, right? Um, and you can see why today, right? Very hard to make it right. uh, accurate. It's, right. Yeah, difficult. Correct. So. And that's we're out here with nobody shooting at us. It, yeah. It's nice weather and everything. So um, these are ideal conditions and it's still hard. And the so. second debunk bunker sure. that I came across was that silences... Yeah. or represses aren't really that silent no. so <laughs> no they're not and we were uh shooting subsonic ammo in that uh, 45 suppressor which is absolutely hearing safe um but it's still audible it's not mm. like it is in the movies that's what he was saying yeah so, so that was interesting to have that debunked yep so. and then um so obviously john doesn't work in the firearms industry just wanted to have him real quick uh yeah. talk about what he does in case any of you guys are interested in that so go ahead sure so i basically uh launching a book series called a journey of riches uh the latest one we just launched is the benefit in challenge it's on amazon.com it's 99 cents um for the next uh week so hopefully it'll still be available while this video is being yep. aired yep and uh, all the proceeds go to charity i actually i'm from australia as you can tell by the accent but i live in bali indonesia and i have a volcano that's about to go off and i have 33,000 refugees 
And so all the proceeds are going to go to Barley Street Kid Foundation mm -hmm. um, to help keep them off the streets because they don't really have a lot of money and things like that. So. Sure. Yeah, so that's what John does. He has good work and uh, works in the publishing industry. So that's how we ended up meeting yeah. um, for something that's totally different than what you guys see here on the channel. But um, he was here, and I think you're here until tomorrow. Yes. So I, we had a free day, and I was like, you need to come to America and shoot guns. If you're here, like, we need to go. So <laughs> drove out here today, and uh, obviously we rang some steel, which certainly is good. So I, obviously for a new, new shooter, he was shooting really well. Um, so that's good. But anything else you wanted to add here before we close the video up? Uh, it really it makes a huge difference if you're with someone that knows what they're doing sure. and can give you the tips and the pros and cons of uh, each piece of hardware. Right. So that made a huge difference. Absolutely. And, and like right. I mentioned earlier, we went over this last night, you know, inside the house when we were, you know, no ammo, no stress yeah. around. So just to kind of go over the details for somebody yeah. to introduce them. And then off camera, I did it again out here just to kind of... Safety first made a huge deal. It made me feel uh, safe as a first time shooter and a first time holding a gun, which was terrifying for me <laughs> at first and exhilarating all ro rolled into one. So really appreciate uh, you, Mike, and um, Absolutely. what you do. Absolutely, same here. And that's pretty much it, guys. We'll end the video there. If you have any questions or comments about the guns, because obviously this wasn't a gun review, you can post those down in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page, as always. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. We had a good time today taking yeah. a new shooter out, which is always good, trying to debunk some myths. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.